Hey guys, Jordan here with Bike Rumor. Today we're here to talk about Brighton's Rider 750 GPS cycling computer. This computer has a touch screen, has 85 plus features, does online navigation with voice search, all kind of power metrics, all kind of cool trainer stuff. So stay tuned while we dive into this new computer. All right, so here we have it. The Rider 750 from Brighton, 85 functions. Let's take a look inside here, see what we got. All right, so we have the GPS unit. This is the uh, head unit here. We have the speed sensor with a bunch of rubber bands. That's good. Here's the cadence sensor. Guessing that's what the rubber bands go with. Nice little bit of a tacky back there. Our handlebar mount. So that's gonna work with the rubber bands as well. Then we have our auxiliary cable that's gonna work for uploading and charging. The lanyard that goes on the GPS unit. In case you take a tumble, it doesn't fall off. And then we have an alloy out front bar. Looks like it has a replaceable little plate there too. Hidden bolts, really cool. So let's get this guy installed on a bike. Installing the mount for the Brighton computer is pretty straightforward. It can be a little tricky though because the bolts are on the bottom of the faceplate. So what you need is a 2.5 millimeter Allen key. Get your bolts dialed in and very simply installed. Then start tightening them down similar to a stem faceplate. And then get your computer set up and tighten them to the right torque. To get the screen settings dialed in, you want to go to the Brighton Active app. You can change your profile, settings, courses, and results. Results are going to be your active rides. So what I'm going to go to is I'm going to go to settings. This is where you can see your Wi-Fi, altitude, manage your devices, sensors, voice navigation settings, everything like that. So uh, this is also where you do your updates. Very simple. So what I'm going to go to is bike settings. So this pulls up all the different screens that are up on my uh, head unit here. And what I want to do is I can go to my speed source. I can see what I like my ride time at, ele elevation, all the different things. But what I like to do is I've been liking this grid mode. Go in here and then you can set up your unit exactly how you want it. So you can see it has seven modes right now. You can go to six. This is my mode that I have most active in. Um, you can go back and you can see, so this is a power ring at the top and a power bar at the bottom. So that's gonna show me my wattage um, as far as in a ring and uh, give me a color instead of a number, which is really cool, especially if you're riding a mountain bike. Uh, then you got training stress score, lap time, distance, power now, pretty neat. Then you can go back and uh, go to your page two and you can dial it in for any of the metrics you want. It's nice because you could just click this and then you adjust your time, speed, distance, and then you can dial it in on this side for exactly the uh, time, speed, or distance that you want. So it's very cool. The Brighton Rider 750 goes seamlessly from mountain bike to road bike. It's big enough that you can see all the metrics that you want to when you're on your mountain bike, and it's easy to navigate when you're on your road bike. The Brighton 750 works really well with the Garmin radar sensors. You can see here that once the car starts approaching from behind, the Brighton beeps shows a small car on the right hand of the screen and it's in orange. So whenever the car passes, it turns green and you can hear a subtle beep at the very end, letting me know that the car passed. Navigation with the Brighton 750 is pretty easy. You can click the navigation button using the Brighton app or click the navigation button on the Rider 750. This will pull up different ways you can search for your route. I prefer speaking it in to the unit itself. You hold it down, say something like Montour Trail, and then click it again. It processes, pulling up all the search results. You have to make sure to allow the Brighton app access to your GPS and your location data. After that, the Brighton Rider 750 should pull up route recommendations and then give you turn-by-turn -turn directions. Pretty simple. All right, 
So final thoughts here on the Rider 750 cycling computer from Brighton. What I liked was the online navigation with voice search, that was great. Had all kind of really easy setup features for your power, for your heart rate, cool screens you could dial in with your cell phone. I like the uh, indoor training feature where you can ride a course indoors that you've ridden outside, that was great. What I didn't like was the Bluetooth sensors. It didn't hook up with some of my lights from Bontrager and CatEye. Uh, I found that a little weird, but you know, I'm seeing a lot of uh, updates coming through, so I'm guessing that's gonna be on their list. So if you're looking for a great computer, this one's definitely worth checking out. The price is fantastic, and it looks like Brighton just keeps getting better with these ones. So uh, give us a like on the bottom, and check out more reviews too.